welcome back to the shop. Uh, took the weekend off. It was my uh, daughter's birthday, so we um, went and had some fun. Um, okay, so the last you saw, I was getting the dash in the race truck. It's coming along really nice. Um, I'm gonna get some uh, more rigid ABS to make a framework inside it so it's even more sturdy than it is. But today I gotta take a break from that. Um, I have a three quarter ton Dodge uh, Mega Cab four wheel drive truck. That's, that's my primary truck. And I blew the motor up in it, um, oh, I don't know, nine or 10 months ago. It's got a 5.7 Hemi in it, and uh, in the Arizona, or Arizona, in the um, desert heat last summer, it uh, sprung a leak in the radiator and overheated and um, chewed the motor up. Apparently the Hemis don't like, they don't have a tolerance at all for any kind of overheating, even though we didn't drive it when it was overheated, it, we pulled her over right away, but it was enough. So um, got a hold of Chris, in Arizona, he's the owner operator of uh, Engine Remanufacturers, and they offer um, completely warranted, 100,000 mile, three year warranty um, Hemi motors uh, that he rebuilds, and he fixes the oiling issue that they have that causes them to blow up when uh, when they get a little warm. So it's just a, a flaw that the Hemis have it. When the, when the engine gets really hot and the oil's viscosity thins out, um, they chew their camshafts up. So that's what happened. Um, so anyway, uh, long story short, I'm finally uh, getting it fixed so I can get my truck back. And uh, I take it down day after tomorrow, um, which is Wednesday. And to do that, I'm gonna use the Ford chase truck to tow it down and I'm gonna flat tow it. I'm gonna use my tow hitch here that we use to tow my daughter's Jeep here from California. And um, I need to fab up some brackets that that's gonna hook to. Um, it's gonna be a real simple bracket. Um, I'm gonna drill these four holes out. This will be the main base plate that'll bolt onto the front part of the frame. There's already a mount under there, or holes at least, that I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna drill these for the hitch pin to go through and just weld two of those and they'll protrude through the bumper and uh, the hitch will hook to it. Should be pretty simple. So that's what I'm gonna do today. My goal is to get it all fabbed up and bolted onto the Dodge and then hook it up to the Ford and tow it around the block a couple times, make sure it's gonna tow good. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna run and get some of those magnetic uh, lights, the tow lights. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave here bright and early Wednesday morning because it's about a five hour drive down to where his shop is. Um, kind of in a rush to do this because um, we have obligations uh, to Edge to go up to their um, open house in Oregon in July. And uh, it's quite a drive. So to do that, I want, um, I want the Dodge to do that because it's just it's made for towing. It's a lot better, heavier duty truck. So um, Chris says that he can get the engine, my old engine pulled out and the new one put in and the thing running top notch in a couple weeks. So that's our goal. Yeah, so uh, I'll get a little bit of footage of uh, fabbing up this, this tow bracket and uh, get it on the truck and uh, yeah, see how it goes. Fingers crossed it works. <laughs> All right, let's do it.
Okay, that was a quick little fab. Pretty simple. Bracket. So uh, basically, um, there was like this little plastic separation skirt between my bumper and the grill valence. It's like this tall. And uh, it pops out, and right behind it is a faceplate that looks just like this. That's the end of the frame of the truck, and there's these bolt holes, and it looks just like this actually. So what I did is make these the bolt right up to that plate, and then these will protrude through that little valence skirt spot between the bumper and the grill, and the hitch will go right in there. And uh, yeah, and when I'm when I'm done with done with them, I'll just unbolt them and. I'll probably keep them for future use in case I ever have to tow my Dodge again or another Dodge. So, yeah, see how they work. I'll let them cool off and then uh, maybe throw a coat of paint on them and then double check the fitment. Hopefully they fit. And then uh, go for a drive. Right on. See how well it works. A few moments later. Okay, plan B. Hauling this thing isn't gonna work. It's just too big for the Ford and to flat toe. Um, it's all over the place. I took it for a good 10 mile test run and uh, I don't feel safe doing it. And I'm, I'm pretty confident in my towing capabilities this thing would get hairy going 400 miles so uh, my next next option is to get a hold of the engine guy and he has somebody that um, for a fee will come and pick it up and take it down there so that's what I'm gonna do so uh, I guess the good news is I fabricated some Pretty cool mounts that I'll use for something. I don't know. Anyway, all right. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll get more videos out uh, this week. I plan on uh, finishing the dash in the race truck and then uh, doing some trailer work. I got to beef up the trailer and uh, might modify the front upper control arms if we have time. But um, other than that, the next biggest thing coming up is going to be uh, the road trip and um, the open house for Edge uh, in late July. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, we're going to be able to set up our booth and uh, get all of our products and stuff on display and uh, meet a lot of great people and, and hang out with all the Edge people. So um, like and subscribe, ring the little bell, give us a thumbs up. And uh, check out our Patreon channel and our website, www.pvracecraft.com. Um, more products are going on there uh, this week. Uh, got some stuff that I'm uh, pretty excited about that we're going to put on there and uh, start selling too. So uh, anyway, check it out and uh, see you next week. Bye.